Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. My desk is absolutely a mess, and it has been for a very long time. And I set it as one of my goals this year to get rid of all this mess and to get rid of the chaos. And luckily, J Labs, Pixio, and Mealy sent me enough gear to create a nice, clean workstation. So we're gonna have a just complete revamp of that mess over there and see what we can get fixed up. So let me go ahead first, start off by cleaning all that stuff off, just get it completely out of the way, and then I'll go over each piece that we have so that we can actually start setting up my new workstation. All right, well, here is my desk. And as you can see, it is a complete disaster. There are products everywhere. There's packaging, there's knickknacks, gadgets, there's boxes all over the place. It is a utter mess and it's just complete chaos. I need to get it all cleaned off before I can start with the transformation of my new workstation. So let's get all this stuff cleaned up and then we'll keep it on pushing. All right, well, my desk is all cleaned off and it is looking pretty good, like a fresh start there. So let me show you everything that we have here to get the whole kit put together and what's gonna go into my new, uh, my new workstation. So first off, we have the Mealy Quieter 3. This is a fanless mini PC here. We're gonna go ahead and use that as my computer. Then we have the, uh, the J-Labs Go Work wireless on-ear headset. This is gonna be used if we need to do some, uh, some live streaming or a Zoom call or something like that. We also have the J-Labs Go keyboard. This is a little small wireless keyboard here that we have, so we don't have to have a bunch of cables everywhere. We also have the J-Labs uh, 1080p uh, video uh, Go Cam. This is going to be a um, a webcam that we can use. And then we have the J Labs Go Charge mouse. This is going to be a wireless mouse that we can use to connect up to three different devices so that we can connect it to our computer and navigate around. And then we also have the J Labs Go Talk USB microphone. This is also going to be used if I'm doing maybe some live streaming or a Zoom call or something. I'll have a good clean audio source. And then last but certainly not least, we have the Pixio PX222. This is a HD monitor that we're going to be able to use so we can hook the computer up so we can actually see what we're doing. So yeah. All right, let me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox each and every item so we can see what they look like. And then I'm gonna go ahead off camera and put everything together and hopefully finalize my workstation. All right, so here we have, this is the Mealy Quieter 3 and we can see this has Intel inside. It's gonna run on Windows, has HDMI. It's gonna have two display, HDMI 2, uh, two HDMI uh, dual display. Uh, Ultra HD 4K, gigabit LAN port, and a fanless design here. So let's just go ahead and, uh, and get this out of the box so we can see what it looks like. And you can already see by just the size of the box here that it's gonna be a very small computer here, which is kind of nice. So uh, especially when you have sort of a small, uh, small desk situation, it's nice to have a computer that's gonna be nice and small here. So. Uh, we can see we're gonna get a quick start guide there and a packing list, so we can go ahead and uh, take that out of the way. And then here is the uh, here's the PC, and we can see this thing is really, really small. This thing is not big at all. Here's here's my pocket knife. It's barely longer than my pocket knife. It's pretty pretty small. All right, we're also going to get uh, inside here along with it um, some cables. So we'll see here. We're gonna get um, we'll get the charging cable. We'll get the uh, we'll get the um, the adapter here so we can use it in the U.S. here, and I think this is an adhesive strip so we can stick it up somewhere if we need to stick it under a desk or something like that, which we might do. I don't know where we're gonna put this thing just yet. So, all right, let's move on to the next piece. All right, and so the next one here is the J Labs Go Work Wireless on ear headset, and we can see here you're gonna get 45 hours of playtime with Bluetooth multi-point. So that's gonna be very nice. So if you wanna use this with multiple devices, you can. It says goes with mobile PC and Mac computers. So yeah, all right. 
Um, we can see everything that's gonna come inside with it. You're gonna get some different cables, the rotating ear cups, the microphone, all that good stuff there. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing open. I don't think we actually even need my pocket knife for this. I think we can go ahead and just open up the packaging here, get this out and see what this is gonna look like. So we're gonna get the, you know, basically the same information right there. Uh, it does look like there's a free gift when you register uh, this product and you're gonna get three months of free title if you want that as well. Um, and there's an app you can get on there for something else. So. Um, I believe this is going to be a just a quick start guide so you can know how to use it and the different functions of it and how to pair it up. Here are the earbuds right there, the uh, headphones, excuse me, and yeah, looks pretty good. They're nice and small there. The, the ear cups are nice and small, so they're going to be on ear, not over the ear. So you can put that right there and have the microphone going. And as you can see, they're going to be on ear and not over the ear with the big cups there. So that may be a little bit more comfortable for you over uh, you know a number of hours if you're using this for a work situation. So, all right. We also have a, uh, a couple of cables in here that we can get out. So um, you can see the cables are gonna go along with the color scheme of J-Labs with these nice blue cables. We're gonna have a USB-A to USB-C for charging. And then we're gonna have a USB-C to, um, to audio cable on here so that we can plug the device in if we wanna plug it in. So you don't have to use Bluetooth, but if you wanna use Bluetooth, it's available. And if you don't want to, you have your cables. All right, let's go to the next piece. All right, next up here, we have the keyboard and this is the J-Labs Go keyboard. It is a multi-device wireless keyboard. It says dual wireless connection to multiple devices. So, and we can even see here how small it is based on the size of the keyboard here. So. Yeah, it says you can switch between three different devices. You have a ultra compact and portable, connect via Bluetooth or USB dongle. That is very, very nice. Um, on the back here, we can see it says easily switch between three saved devices, laptop, phone, tablet, and more. And there is some shortcut keys on there. There's a media knob and all that, but let's go ahead and just get it out. Let's take a look at it and um, let's get this keyboard out of the packaging here and see what we have here. So um, here it is gonna be, it's gonna be wrapped up in a little bit of tissue paper. We'll toss it off to the side and look at that nice and uh, nice and brand new and shiny. And I like this, it's raised up a little bit. You can see it's raised up a little bit so you have that nice ergonomic feel to it. And it's gonna be, uh, it's just gonna be a nice fit there. Now, some people who like to have an extra part over here for your, uh, for your numeric pad, you're not gonna get that. You're gonna have your numbers on the top row right there. So there's that. Um, it looks like we're gonna get a, uh, a quick start guide right here if we need to uh, know how to get this thing set up. So we'll keep a hold of that for the, uh, for the meantime. We also have a couple of uh, batteries here. So it looks like we're gonna have a couple of AAA batteries that we will put in the uh, on the bottom of the inside the bottom there and in here is where you'll actually find that USB dongle so if you need the USB dongle you'll have that available so um, one nice thing about having a USB dongle is sometimes when you're trying to set up a new computer like we're going to be doing here before you actually get your um, before you actually get your keyboard set up and your Bluetooth and all that set up you need a way to actually uh, have a keyboard or a mouse or something functioning and so it's nice to have that dongle so you can plug it into your computer and have everything working without the Bluetooth so that you can just have everything up and running and get it set up. So, all right, that's the keyboard. Let's put everything back inside here. We're gonna use that as needed. So let's go on to the next piece. And this next piece is going to be the mouse. So we started with the keyboard or we went to the keyboard. Now we're going to the mouse because well, you need a mouse so that you can navigate around here. So um, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up here. It looks like there's a little bit of a, a plastic right there. Let me see if I, can, uh, if I can cut through that and cut through that right there. And let's go ahead and, and uh, see if we can open this up and it is not opening up easy for me. And when things don't open up easy for me, generally I just like to rip them open. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try and rip this thing open and see if I can get it out. And you know what? Yeah, there we go. I hate to destroy boxes like that, but sometimes you just have to do it because the packaging is not cooperating. So, all right. 
Now, first of all, I do want to give a shout out. This is the second time I've seen this where they have the product wrapped up in this tissue paper. I really like that because this is this is recyclable. This paper is recyclable. I much would rather have that than some plastic that's, you know, just going to end up in a landfill, you know, trying to decompose over the next 400 years. So, all right, here is the keyboard. It looks very nice. It's sort of a matte black finish there. The uh, sides right here that are sort of ergonomic are uh, rubbery so that they have a little bit of grip to them. You have your, your wheel. Um, this part's a clicker too right here. It looks like you have some buttons on the, on the side right there. Um, yeah, and it's split in half so you have your, uh, your left and right click. You have a uh, power switch on the bottom and it looks like a reset button there. And it looks like you even have a dongle on here so that you can uh, plug directly in to your computer without needing to actually connect to via Bluetooth. So yeah, all right. Um, I'm not sure what else comes in here. We are, I can see there's going to be a quick start guide that is in there. And um, it does look like we're going to get a cable so that we can charge this up. It's going to be a USB A to USB C. And um, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there it is. That's where the USB C port is right there. Plug that in and then you can charge this bad boy up. So, all right, that is the, uh, that is the mouse. Let's go on to the next piece because we only have a few left before we can actually get this whole thing set up. Now here is the next one, which is the webcam. And this is the JLab GoCam. And it's a HD USB webcam. Now as a camera guy, I'm hoping this thing's pretty nice. Now I really don't expect much because I haven't really seen a webcam that I actually like. And even when I'm live streaming, I use my mirrorless camera because I think the quality is much better. But we're gonna see how this thing performs. I hope it's doing, I hope it does a really fine job. So uh, let's go ahead and get this, uh, let's get this package opened here so we can see what this looks like. And uh, I'm not exactly sure <laughs> how some of this stuff is, uh, is packaged up. Well, it looks like there's some tape there. The tape is uh, almost the exact same color as the box, so it was a little challenging to see there, but let's see if we can figure out how to get in here. So there we go. All right, all right, there we go. We have the uh, we have the quick start guide right there. So scan me for a free gift so you can get that if you want. It does show you how to set it up and how to, uh, how to place it onto your monitor, so that's kind of nice. And then here is the, uh, here is the camera right here. Let's see if we can get this thing out. Oh, looks like there is a cable in there that's, that's stuck on something. All right, there we go. Now we have it out. Now, one thing I'll see right here, you can notice this thing is going to rotate so that you can get this and rotate this however you want it. Um, it has a nice braided nylon cable on here so that you're going to be able to, uh, to not have to worry about this cable getting broken or shorted out or anything. Um, you can see here, this is how this is going to uh, mount on here. So I believe this goes onto the, onto the top of the monitor. This part goes onto the back. This part right here is rubberized. This is rubberized as well. So it should stick nice and firmly on there. So yeah. All right. This is the J, this is a G, J lab go cam. And again, this is a full HD 1080p, um, video webcam for video calls. So if we're doing zoom or, or teams or whatever else, it should work. And I guess if you're live streaming, it should work for that as well. Now this next piece is the last one from JLab and this is the microphone. This is the GoTalk USB microphone. It's compact. It says compact studio quality sound and it's going to be plug and play, two directional pattern modes and quick mute. So you can see right there that big mute button on there if you need to mute yourself right quick. Um, yeah. They have some official sponsors for Major League Soccer. We can get an idea of how it's going to look here. It looks like there's going to be a couple pieces we need to uh, we need to put together on here. But it says it's great for calls, podcasts, gaming, ASMR, and voiceover. It says controls for volume, gain, and quick mute. So, all right, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and see if we can cut through this uh, this packaging here. And there we go. And let's see if we can get this out of the box. Let's see if we can slide that out. There we go. And open that up. And again, we're going to get the uh, the same sort of inner packaging that uh, inner uh, packaging that looks like the outer packaging. Free gift and all that. Three months of free title. Very nice to see. And then this is the microphone right there. So that's the actual mic. There's also gonna be a base right here and this is gonna go and screw in. There should be another piece in here where I think this is gonna screw into, uh, where is it? I guess maybe to here or something. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out how that works. So um, 
But there it is. The mic is not very heavy. So, um, you know, we'll have to see how it sounds. I, I kind of figure, I kind of find that things that, uh, like microphones, that the heavier they are, sometimes just the better they sound. I don't know if that's always true, but that's kind of what I've experienced in my own personal experience. So experience, experience. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep it going. Um, let's see, we're gonna have a quick start guide in here. It looks like, um, oh, actually, let's see. What does it say? Cable quick start guide. And I think the quick start guide was actually on the outside, but we do have the cable here. It's gonna be a USB-A to USB-C cable. So we can get this thing plugged in. And then this is going to be the, uh, the little not locking nut that we need here. Let's see if we can uh, rip that and uh, see what that's gonna look like. So yeah, that's what we're gonna need to actually hook up the, uh, the microphone to the, uh, to the base here. So not exactly sure how this works. I think this maybe screws, there we go, it slides in right there. And then I think there's a, yeah, I think this goes in somewhere in between there and these screw, these go fit in there. So we'll figure it out and get all of that situated. But uh, let's, let's go on to the last product that we have. So let me set all this stuff off to the side. We'll get all of this. I made such a, uh, cleaned up everything so nicely and now my place is looking kind of crazy and messy again. But let's go on to the very last piece of this puzzle that's gonna make the entire workstation complete. Okay, so this is the Pixio PX222. So here we go, the, Pix the Pixio PX222. And this is an HD monitor. And so um, it looks like there's a little bit of tape on here. So let me just see if I can cut through this tape here and, uh, and get this thing out of here. Let's see if we can move this. And I don't know if there's any other specs on the side here. Doesn't really say much on there as far as the specs. It just says that it is a full HD monitor. We'll see if we can get some, oops, knocking stuff off the table. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this out. All right, I think that's the base here. All right, so um, yeah, I think this here is the base. So we'll have to set that aside for the moment. And let me see if I can back this up a little bit here. And I think this is also going to be part of the base right there. So we'll figure that out where that's gonna be needed. We have, the, uh, we have the power adapter here so we can get this thing plugged in cause you're gonna need to provide power. We have an HDMI to, um, we have an HDMI to HDMI cable here, which is nice. I actually love it when companies provide you with the cables that you need to use the product. I, I really get annoyed when companies give you a product, or you, they sell you a product, and then you don't have everything in the box that you need to start using it. So that's one of those things that really annoys me. It annoys me about cell phone companies now where they give you a, a cable, but they don't give you a power brick. Well, what if you don't have a power brick and you just wanna use your phone, now you have to go buy something extra. So I'm glad that Pixio actually provided this, uh, this HDMI to HDMI cable. So big ups to them. All right, looks like a little screw for uh, mounting something it looks like. And then let's get this off, throw that over there. And let's get this out. And there we go. And it looks like we're gonna get a, uh, I guess this is gonna be a, a packaging thing and some inst and an installation guide. And then this is going to be the monitor right there. So let's see there. We can try and get a look at that. Looks kind of nice. And we'll take a look at the back here. We can see where stuff is gonna go into it here to uh, for, for mounting and to get it all hooked up. We are gonna have uh, an HDMI port right there. It looks like we're also gonna have a, um, looks like we're gonna have a VGA input as well. The VGA input says it's 75 Hertz. HDMI says it's uh, 1.4, 75 Hertz as well. We have a headphone jack and a DC, uh, a DC port right there as well. And uh, yeah, and then on this side we have some controls so that we can uh, uh, we can make some adjustments to this if we need to. So yeah, there it is, the Pixio. Oh, this is also what size is this thing? I think this is a. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I think this might be a 22 inch or let's see, what 24, 22 inch? I don't know if it says on here. Um, yeah. I'll have to look that up and figure out and find out exactly what size uh, monitor this is so that I can tell you guys. So, all right. Well, we have everything all out and unpackaged and unboxed. It's time for me to set everything up. So I'm gonna get to work on that and then I'll bring you back in when I have everything up and running so we can see how my workstation actually looks 
fully completed. All right, here it is, the complete workstation setup here. So I have my Pixio 22 inch monitor there. I have my, uh, my JLab Go Work headphones, wireless Bluetooth headphones hanging off the monitor. I have the microphone right there. I have the, uh, the wireless keyboard and the mouse. And down there where you can't see it is the Mealy Quieter 3 little mini PC. It's super quiet because it's fanless and there it is, the complete setup. All right, let's go ahead, take a look and see how it performs and if it's working for me. So let me tell you now what I like and don't like about this whole setup, my workstation. There's a lot that I like, and generally, I like it. I put it together, but there's a couple things I don't like. One, with this uh, monitor, the Pixio 222, uh, PX222, it's a 22-inch gaming monitor, which is nice. The picture looks fantastic, the image is fantastic, but it has this weird angle where it's it sort of angles in. We can see here, this is my TV set, and this thing sort of has this thing where it slopes down and it's just got this weird sloping down thing that it does. I'm not sure why they do that. Maybe there's some sort of optimal, uh, you know, viewing angle for gaming or something. But for me, it's kind of weird. I'm used to having my monitor just flat and straight at me. So that's one issue. Um, now, I have the other pieces on here. I have my wireless mouse. This is, uh, again, the JLab Charge mouse, and this works with both Bluetooth and a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Now, that dongle is so important because if you're first setting up your computer and you don't have Bluetooth turned on, you're gonna wanna be able to navigate around in your system. That dongle is going to allow you to do that. Also, if for some reason you actually turn off Bluetooth, which, well, I did, it's gonna be able to allow you to plug in that dongle and actually use it. So that is very, very nice. Now, I also have the Go keyboard here, so the, uh, the wireless keyboard. It's super light, it's nice and small, it's easy to use. I like it, it's very responsive. The only thing that I don't like about it is it seems like it goes to sleep relatively quickly, which I imagine is to save uh, battery power. And when you first start typing, uh, sometimes you'll miss the first letter or two because it sleeps. So generally what I would recommend is if you're using this, just like hit the space bar or something so that it knows it's on and then start typing. Otherwise, just make sure you double check the first couple uh, letters of your word that you, when you start typing again, if you've left the keyboard alone for a little while. So now the next two pieces that I have are the um, are the GoCam, the JLab GoCam, and the JLab Go Talk, the uh, the webcam and the microphone. The webcam is a 1080p microphone, uh, 1080p webcam, excuse me, and the microphone is a USB microphone. So let's actually go ahead and just uh, take a look, and I'll show you what the quality looks like, both for the, the picture and the sound with the microphone. Okay, so this is the image from the JLab Go Cam. And again, this is a 1080p webcam. And you can use this pretty much for everything that you want. It's plug and play, so it's super easy. You don't have to worry about installing a bunch of drivers or any software or anything. You just plug it in and it just works. It's very, very nice. So um, you can use this if you're doing Zoom calls, if you're doing a live stream, or if you just wanna record from your computer like I'm doing right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this, uh, This I'm using the microphone right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this up. I have no idea how loud it's gonna get or how quiet it's gonna get. Now, this is one thing that I don't like about this microphone. There's no real, uh, there's no real notches on here. You can feel when you turn it, like the little clicks to let you know that you've changed it from one level to another. But there's no, there's no like markers or indicators on the dial to let you know that you're at like gain level one or gain level ten. And I don't really see anything on the screen letting me know that it's getting louder or softer. So you're always kind of guessing. And uh, yeah, I'm not really a fan of that. I wish they put some indicators on there to let you know exactly where your mic levels are on here so now you also can change the uh the the format you can have more of a wide pickup pattern or a more narrow pickup pattern if you're on here and you can change that around and again i'm sort of guessing on how louder this is or how quiet it is because you know there's no there's no indicators on there to let you know which is sort of a downside so now the one last thing i want to show you on here that we have here is not the one last thing but the last thing from jlab i have here is uh is their bluetooth wireless headphone this is the jlab go work 
And these are nice because once you put these on, you are good to go. You have these nice padded uh, ear cups that actually fit on your ear and not uh, and not over your ear so that you don't get hot and sweaty, especially if you're working for a long time. So if you're someone who's doing Zoom calls all day, maybe you're a teacher or something, or maybe you are doing customer service and you need to have them on all day, you also have your microphone right there so that you have a very nice, clean, simple setup that's gonna work nicely for you so yeah now the last piece the last piece of this puzzle is the Mealy quieter 3 and that is the computer that's running all of this so let's jump in and take a look at what some of the specs are of this little fanless mini PC Okay, so here we are in the PC. Let's just go ahead and uh, and take a look around a little bit. So we can, uh, let's start off with storage here. And we'll see here that it comes with 115 gigs of built-in storage on the device itself. And it looks like the system's using 33.9 and then we have 81.5 gigs free. So there's plenty of storage on here for most things. If you're doing just schoolwork, word processing, sending emails, a basic, uh, you know, basic computing needs, you'll be good with the, with the amount of storage that comes on the device. But if you need more, you can add more storage by just plugging in an external hard drive. So let's go ahead now back to settings and let's go check out what the, uh, let's go check out the system a little bit more and we'll click on about this device. Now we can see right here, this is going to have an Intel, uh, Intel R Celluleron N5105, that's two gigahertz, so there you go. It's not super, super fast. It's not like a, a blazing fast processor, but it's going to get the job done as we can see. Now we also have eight gigs of RAM inside there installed. It says 7.75 usable. So I guess there's some that is uh, not usable, but there you go. We have uh, 7.75 usable gigs right there. And it's going to run off of a 64 bit operating system with a 64 bit based um, processor. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's running Windows 11 Pro, so that's nice to see. You have that right out the gate. And that's kind of it. You can see the manufacturer down here is, uh, is Mealy, so if you need to reach out to them, they do provide their phone number. So that's pretty much it. Um, I will tell you that the computer, um, I think it's pretty snappy and it runs really well for what it is. It is a small fanless PC. It's not some high-powered you know, custom built machine that you're gonna use for gaming or video editing or CAD files or crypto mining or anything like that. It's going to be a very basic PC that you can use for fun things like looking at photos and videos, sending emails, YouTubing, all that good stuff, you know, Zoom calling, all the things you would use a basic computer for, this little computer is gonna do it for you. So anyways, there you go. This is my entire new workstation, all set up here in my studio. All right, everyone, well, there you go. That is it, that is a look at my complete new workstation there. And yeah, I had to say, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the cleaning up was probably the hardest part because, well, I had a lot of junk and a lot of boxes I had to break down, but I was really happy that I had all the components, all the pieces that I need to put together a nice, work, a nice workstation. I had my computer, that Mealy 3, Quieter 3, the Mealy Quieter 3. We had the, uh, the uh, Pixio, uh, PX222, we had our JLab components, the webcam, the keyboard, the mouse, the USB uh, microphone, and the uh, headset. We had everything that we needed to make sure that we can get a complete workstation up and running. So yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I'm gonna leave links to, well, all the products down below in the video description so you can check them out and pick them up and create your own workstation if you want to. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace. Wow.